So in order to adjust your charts further, you can do it by clicking on the chart right here. And over here, you can see that there's chart styles. It's actually the same styles that you get here in the design panel right here, but this is a quicker way of getting it. So you can go over here. So this is how you can enable and disable the title of the chart right here. So let's say you just want to select the uh, remove the laptop right here. All right. So you can see that you can add and uh, remove the, apply, the laptop, press apply and the laptop data has been removed just like this. Then we apply that. You want to remove Apple itself and apply then Apple has been removed. So you can see that you can enable and disable uh, certain data uh, from the table right here and then uh, adjust it accordingly. You can also go to names right here, there's none, apply, and then it changes just like this. So you can see that the series has been changed right here and the name is not there. So you can also apply the names right here, which is what I want. If you do not want to apply that, you can select none, apply, and then this changes one, two, three, just like this. Let me just uh, apply this one out right there. That is how you can change the titles right there. You can also change the axis. For example, I have 1600 over here. So if I were to double click, then it brings me to something called the axis options. So this is the minimum that is zero. So let's say minimum is 100, for example, then this actually changes, uh, changes out. So this is actually 100. And then if I want to increase the maximum and so forth, I can just type in the value right here, like 2500. And you can see that this increases right there. If you want to decrease that out, maybe have in uh, below uh, what is actually here in the data. So 1100 right there, and then it, it exceeds as you can see. It is according to your device, uh, design choice anyways. So you can also go for uh, units. The major uh, measure is 100 as you can see. If you were to do 25, then it becomes much more detail oriented as you can see right here. Also minor as well. So this is five. So if you want to do two, and you can see that uh, the data is much more delayed. So you can reset everything out just like this. So you can also have uh, different access values over here. It's like this. So 10 over there. So you can change the access values over here or have an automatic maximum access value over here you can reverse it out and so forth. Just like that. You can also display units like hundreds. As you can see, you can display the un units right here onto the side just like this or just have the number right here. So you can do, you can also have tick marks over here. You can see, you can have tick marks inside or outside uh, or so forth. So you can have tick marks, you can have labels right here, high low labels, just like this. You can change the number over here into currency and so forth if you are going for that. So let me just go for general right here. So that is how you can access the access options right here. And besides that, you can also go over here and then uh, select this. So once you select this, you can see that now you have the series option. So you can have primary or secondary access, as you can see, just like that. And you can increase the series overlap right here. So it overlaps and you can also increase the gap as you can see, and then adjust it accordingly. You can go over here and you can see that you got the alignment, the axis alignment. So it's middle centered or you can top center this out right here. Let me just select this out. You can have it top left right and top right as you can see right here and this gives you different options of how you can adjust the chart according to what you like so that is how you can work with titles and access inside of microsoft excel hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe